Hi guys and welcome to the vlog. So got to tread a little bit carefully here guys because uh, Bex has gone a, uh, gone a little bit weird, a bit off the rails. She's uh, built up this weird fascination with this uh, packet of grout and uh, she's she's in a daily at this point, sort of making excuses to get up to B&Q just for a look around and uh, then lo and behold she's back down the blimmin' grout aisle looking at, the, uh, looking at the little packets again. Will it bite if I touch it? Easy. Woohoo! For today is grout day. You happy with that? For one, she's happy. Stared at it long enough. Oh, she's cuddling it now. It's a good day, isn't it, to be alive? So I've got my grout, all my spaces. God, no way of getting that off her. You've got one. One's enough. Come on. Bless. Girl and her grout. In all honesty, Becca is completely refitting our kitchen. And this is just the next part to our lovely little tiles behind the sink that she made. I mean, she's buzzing. I am absolutely devastated. I've got to rip out all these hatch doors that I made. Do you remember? I spent bloody ages on them. And all because our DIY handyman, expert Chris, told me to. So if you remember my lovely wooden inlay to the hatches that I uh, completely relined in the last year to try and get them to shut properly. And then, uh, yeah, they still didn't really shut properly. I think today we're going to try and get that wooden inlay off again and get a nice fresh new bit on there. That's what expert Chris wanted to do anyway. I mean, I put a lot of love into these fellas, but the top here just isn't high enough. So these are held on by Perflex, which is what the uh, Maverick uh, recommended. And he said it would be an absolute nightmare to try and get off. So but we've got to try and get them off so we can get the new, new wooden inlays in. God, they're only like a year old, not even that. And yeah, they still weren't shutting properly. And I think that's just because my inlays are a bit too fat. Straight in the water. Put them on, put them off, put them on, put them off. It's all learning, they say. All learning, they say. Yeah, it's all a bit depressing, really, but hopefully it's for the greater good, eh? Back to stage one. I mean, are we ever going to get going? Here he is, the big man. Do you feel guilty for taking off my lovely hatches? Nah. I'd feel guilty for putting them on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no remorse. I mean, he just doesn't care. He's just tearing away at them. It's my beautiful hatches. He's only been here five minutes. So expert Chris has brought some wood down with him that we're going to cut up. We're going to paint it to treat it as well. So we're just on our way up to guess where? B and Q. So yeah, we're going to seal it with a special sort of paint and then we're going to go right around the borders with a sort of no more nails or, you know, something really strong just so no water can get in there. OK, so let's get the new hatches cut up. Here I am sanding it. You want some marigolds? Yeah. Don't knock them until you try them. I'm never going to try them. Never? Have you ever had a pair on? Yeah, I was naked though. <laughs> OK, so time to whack on our undercoat for the hatches. And we're going to go over them again after with a nicer sort of paint. This is just to sort of seal it all in there and keep them all nice and unmoisturised. Is that the right thing to say? That'll do. It's not even my channel anymore now, is it? It's, uh, it's taking over. Either that or I'll have to sort of put my head on, you know, cut and paste it, so it's like me doing it. OK, so time to take off the excess panelage of my uh, yeah, beautiful panels that took ages and ages to make. And now, uh, look, he's just tearing it off with complete disregard. If you can't do it yourself, bring someone else in to sort out your mess. 
So after this, we're going to have to whack on our aqua steel again because we don't want any of the metal exposed. So hashtag rusty rusty. Our best friend aqua steel. Get a nice clean pot and fill it with a bit of aqua steel. Very technical. So we put this on and let it dry. So the time has come for the tiles to be grouted. The adhesive's all nice and set, so we're ready to go. Um, I've just got to mix up my grout, which is complicated because I don't need that whole huge entire bag. So I've been doing some complicated maths this morning to try and figure it out. So let's get mixing. So in the absence of a proper stirrer, I am relinquishing one of our kitchen forks from its eating duties helping to feed duties and it's going to have to be my stirrer because this has uh, slipped my mind and I haven't got anything else. Anyhow, I measured out my grout. I'm just doing a little bit because it's only a small area of tiling and I don't want to end up mixing up a, a whole load more than I need. Got my little bit of water so I've just got to mix it in, give it a stir for a few minutes and then we're ready to rock and roll. Looks like cake batter. A gritty cake batter. It feels weirdly nice, actually. Thanks. Right, here we go. Wish me luck. And I know now why Becca didn't want to talk to me for a few minutes when I came into the kitchen. Because, yes, yeah, she was grouting and it looks bloody technical, if you ask me. And I think you've only got a matter of sort of minutes before it all starts to sort of dry and go wrong. So, yeah, get out, Chris. Yay! So the tiniest section of tiling ever has been completed. I know it's just a small thing, but it's the first time I've ever done it, so it's, it's cool to kind of get the experience. The thing I'm most worried about is because I had to just mix up a portion of the grout from the bag, it's just making sure I got the ratio of grout powder to water right, so hopefully it won't dry out and crack. We'll just have to see. If that's the case, I'll just have to dig it out and do it again. Okay, back to expert Chris, who's finally gonna put our lovely new hatch doors on. And we're using the Sikaflex here. And for those that thought Chris was a real adult, he is nothing but a child. Okay, multi-angle view here, guys, of it going on. Me and Bex were both filming from both ends without knowing. <laughs> and by doing so, we have created this marvelous footage, multi-angle footage of Chris just putting on the clamps. There you go. Wow. Again, with the Sikaflex, we are pushing like no other narrowboat channel. What shape would you like now, Chris? And yeah, we're going to go all down the sides and the tops of these panels as well with the Sikaflex just to keep it all inside so no moisture can get in there. Well, they could sweat, I suppose. Can they sweat? I don't know. <laughs> but it, it'll stop rain getting in there, won't it? And we are still going to make these look all nice. This is just the undercoat, remember? I mean, it's a bit messy. I think I could probably do a bit better than that. Time to take over. This is dangerous, man, seriously. Look at you go, man. You can do all of them now. That actually is smoother than yours. <laughs> there you go, look at that. That's much better than your one. In with the finger. Oh. Right in the corner, like. I don't want to get it under the, the finger now. And yeah, Put now just as messy as uh, expert Chris's. Yeah. And again, gloveless, showing off. Mate, you, you, you must have been in the silicon trade for sure. <laughs> Someone get this man a marigold. I went in again, Bex, gloveless. Got a black finger. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Completion has finally taken place. Well, we've still got to plumb it in, but this is what it's going to look like. We have completed it. We, we, we. And what a thing of beauty we have created. There's the old black knobs. She wasn't wrong. I'll give her that. I'm only joking. I've got to give Becca some praise, haven't I? She has gone out of her way to uh, make this look exactly the same as Cyril Sneer's nose from the TV hit what? show, The Raccoons. Anyone remember that? There you go. And it's all for me. Mine, mine, mine. Yeah, I don't actually know if it is mine, actually. I think it's both of ours. OK, so these little fellas are all clamped on and ready to dry. Little did we know that this would be happening in the next episode. 
It's not good, is it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it just hasn't been my week, guys, has it? 